Hey guys, Jack here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Sorry about the hair. Haven't had a haircut in a while because of lockdown. But we're here to test out the 5G network, specifically EE in the UK on the new iPhone 12 Pro. We're going to see what kind of speeds we can get and how it compares to the 4G network. Also testing out the Intel modem on an iPhone XS Max to see if you get any fast speeds, even if you don't have 5G coverage. So let's get stuck in with the first 5G test. All right, so for the first test, I'm at my local city of Reading, just west of London, for anyone that doesn't know. Uh, it's a bit patchy in this area, as you can see, but zooming in, there is this good spot here where we should get coverage of 5G. So I drove over there in the car to test out the first spot. So here we are in the car, and you can see there in the top right, we have a 5G signal. Three out of four bars, so pretty good coverage, and we're gonna go ahead and do a speed test now. So hit go and we get a ping of 24 milliseconds, so very low. And straight away we're seeing pretty high speeds here, over 400 megabit megabits per second. So that's pretty fast, faster than any LTE or 4G I've seen. Finishing up with 440 megabits per second, so super fast there. And that's great to see E's network is performing. On the upload, we're getting about 43 megabits per second on the upload. So again, not too bad, but certainly that download is very fast. You can see there I have 5G set to on as opposed to auto, and I'm just gonna go ahead and switch it to the 4G mode now, just so we can see how it compares on the 4G network, see if it really is any faster in this location. In terms of ping, we're slightly faster there at 22 compared to 24, but the download is certainly slower. So we're only pulling around about 190 megs there. Um, we'll let it finish up and see what we get. So 197 megabits per second, so that's less than half the speed of 5G. So very good start for 5G here. On the upload, it's around about the same. We're getting about 44 megs there. And again, we'll let it just finish up. 45.3, so that's one meg faster on the upload. So pretty much you're getting double the speed on the download and the same for the upload. So we'll go ahead and move to another location and test it out there. So I've driven about half a mile away from the previous location, still in Reading, and you can see there in the top right, we have two out of four bars of 5G service. We're gonna go ahead and hit go, see what sort of speeds we get here. Ping again, very low at only 28 milliseconds, and the download is speeding away up to 240 megabits per second. So again, very fast, not quite as fast as that 450 we saw earlier, but again, still very fast. So 254 on the download there. Upload much slower this time, only four megabits per second, coming in there just under 4.1. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the 4G network so we can see if that 5G was actually any faster than the 4G network. So back into the speed test app, hitting go, this time with a ping of 27 milliseconds. So again, one millisecond faster. And the download this time is only 65, 67 there. So again, much slower than the 5G network, almost five times, about four times slower than the 5G network upload only one megabit per second faster. So again, pretty much the same as the previous location where the upload is one megabit per second faster, but the download is a lot faster. So 5G network is proving itself so far. We're gonna go ahead and do a slightly different test next. All right, so you may notice I've switched phones here to an iPhone XS Max. This is the test out to see how the iPhone 12 compares to previous iPhones, which have a Intel modem. The new iPhone 12 has a Qualcomm X55. So we're gonna see if you have an iPhone 11 or before, see if you get any faster speeds compared to the new iPhone 12, even if you don't have 4G coverage in your area. So I'm in my back garden, we only get 4G here. And running a speed test on the 10s Max, we're getting about 86 megabits per second on the download with a ping of 29, finishing up there with 86.8. So pretty fast, more than double what I get on my home broadband, uh, which is very annoying, but still pretty good. And on the upload, we're getting about 18 megabits per second there. We'll let it finish up. 
uh, finishing up there with 20.6. So 86.8 and 20.6 on an iPhone XS Max with that Intel modem. And we're going to go ahead and switch over now to the iPhone 12, again on the 4G network. So here we are, iPhone 12 with that Qualcomm X55 chip. And we're going to go ahead and run the same speed test connected to the same server, see what sort of speeds we get, see if we get any improvement compared to the iPhone XS Max. And it seems like we are. So we're getting about 110 megabits per second on the download. So that is an increase of 20 megabits. So that's good to see. And just finishing up there with 109 megabits per second and an upload of 22.6. So the download over 20 megabits per second faster, upload only two megabits faster, but certainly that download is a good increase. So if you're having problems with slow internet on an older iPhone, you may see a benefit from moving from that to the iPhone 12 with its new Qualcomm chip, even if you don't have 5G coverage. We'll go ahead now and switch back to a 5G test. So switching it up a bit, we're moving to Stoke-on-Trent, which is between Manchester and Birmingham. If we zoom in here, you can see on the map of EE's 5G coverage, we're just on the edge of the zone there. We'll go ahead now and switch over to the car, and you can see that gives us three out of four bars of 5G signal. And we'll go ahead and hit go on the speed test, and we get a ping of 43 milliseconds, so our slowest one yet, and our download is going about 120 megabits per second so slower than our other ones finishing up at 125 so that is our slowest 5g test yet but still pretty fast even compared to 4g the upload is a lot slower only 2.2 at the moment so we'll let it finish up to see what we get here coming in at 2.78 so again our slowest 5g test so far but it is important to compare that to the 4G coverage in that area, not to other 5G locations. So switching over to 4G here, we're going to head and hit go on the speed test and we get a ping of 45 milliseconds. So slightly slower, two milliseconds slower than that 43. And the download is slower than that 5G. So even though we were slow on the 5G, it is still faster than the 4G network we're getting about 46.5 there on the download. So you're getting over twice the speed, maybe even three times there of that 4G network. 5G coming in at twice the speed at 5.3. So good to see EE is performing well. Before I give the conclusion, this is shot on the same day as that intro. That's why I'm wearing the same t-shirt. Don't worry, I do have other ones to change into. But with EE's 5G network, we saw speeds upwards of 440 megabits per second. So pretty damn fast, at least twice the speed of the 4G network, if not four times the speed in some of those locations. So good to see E's 5G network is better than its 4G one. And hopefully we should see it expand, not only in coverage, but also speed. And even if you don't have 5G coverage in your area, if you have an older iPhone and you're looking to upgrade to the new iPhone 12, you should see a slight benefit in that 4G speed as we saw there with the 10s Max on its Intel modem compared to the X55 Qualcomm one in the iPhone 12. Hopefully we should see also roll out its millimeter wave for that gigabit per second that we see across the pond in the US. You will of course need a new phone, but hopefully E will bring that out soon in the UK. If you guys have any questions about the 5G network or the iPhone 12, do post a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, if you have any speed tests, 5G or 4G, post them down below what phone you're using, whereabouts it was, and what sort of speed you're getting. Be interesting to compare. If you guys found this video useful, do please hit that like button down below as well. It really helps out the channel and the video. And if you're new, consider subscribing over there on the right for upcoming videos. Otherwise, this has been Jack. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.